welcome to our video on deduction. As well as work-related deductions in our prior video there are also a number of other deductions that can be claimed as well. Other deductions that can be claimed include Cost of managing your tax affairs or tax agent's fee You can claim a deduction for expenses you incur in managing your own tax affairs, including Preparing and lodging your tax return and activity statements Travel associated with obtaining tax advice, for example, the travel costs of attending a meeting with a recognized tax advisor. Litigation costs including court and administrative appeals tribunal fees, and solicitor, barrister, and other legal costs. ATO interest. Expenses relating to preparing and lodging your tax return and activity statements include the costs of buying tax reference material, tax return preparation courses, Lodging your tax return through a registered tax agent. Obtaining tax advice from a recognized tax advisor, a registered tax agent, barrister or solicitor. And purchasing software to allow the completion and lodgement of your tax return. Gifts or donations. Organizations entitled to receive tax deductible gifts are called deductible gift recipients, DGRs. You can only claim a tax deduction for gifts or donations to organizations that have DGR status. The person that makes the gift, the donor, is the person that can claim a deduction. What you can claim. Gifts of money, you can claim the amount of the gift, but it must be of a value of $2 or more. If you receive a token item for your donation, you can still claim a deduction. Token items are things of no material value that are used to promote the DGR such as, lapel pins, wristbands, and stickers. Bucket donations. If you made donations of $2 or more to bucket collections, for example, to collections conducted by an approved organization for natural disaster victims, you can claim a tax deduction for gifts up to $10 without a receipt. To claim contributions of more than $10 you need a receipt. What you can't claim. You can't claim gifts or donations that provide you with a personal benefit, such as, Raffle or art union tickets, items such as chocolates, mugs, key rings, hats, or toys that have an advertised price. The cost of attending fundraising dinners, even if the cost exceeds the value of the dinner. You may be eligible to claim a deduction as a contribution if the cost of the event was more than the minor benefit supplied as part of the event. Membership fees. Gifts to family and friends, regardless of the reason. You can't claim a tax deduction for donations made to social media or crowdfunding platforms unless they are a registered DGR. Interest on monies borrowed for income purposes, for example, borrow some money to buy some shares. You can claim a deduction for expenses incurred in earning interest, dividend, or other investment income. You can claim account keeping fees and management fees for an account held for investment purposes. You can claim a deduction for interest charged on money borrowed to buy shares and other related investments that you derive assessable interest or dividend income from. Only interest expenses incurred for an income producing purpose are deductible. If you use the money you borrowed for both private and income producing purposes, you must apportion the interest between each purpose. A portion of other costs if they were incurred in managing your investments such as some travel expenses, the cost of specialist investment journals and subscriptions. Borrowing costs. The cost of internet access. The decline in value of your computer. You can't claim a fee charged for drawing up an investment plan unless you were carrying on an investment business. Personal superannuation contributions. If you made personal superannuation contributions during the year to a complying super fund you may be able to claim a deduction for those contributions if you get your income from salary and wages, personal business, investments, including interest, dividends, rent, and capital gains, foreign sources, super, partnership or trust distributions, and government pensions or allowances, claiming tax deductions. If you want to claim a tax deduction for personal contributions, you must provide a valid notice of intent to your super fund. You must have this notice acknowledged in writing by your fund. If you claim a tax deduction for a super contribution you have made, that contribution will be subject to 15% tax in the fund. Income Protection Insurance You can claim the cost of premiums you pay for insurance against the loss of your income. You must include any payment you receive under such a policy on your tax return. 
If the policy provides benefits of an income and capital nature, only the part of the premium that relates to the income benefit is deductible. You can't claim a deduction for a premium or any part of a premium. For a policy that compensates you for such things as physical injury if the policy taken out is through your superannuation and insurance premiums are deducted from your super contributions. For example, you can't claim a deduction for life insurance premiums, trauma insurance premiums, and critical care insurance premiums. As you can see there are a lot of deductions that you can claim if you have incurred them in gaining your accessible income. Some are quite simple to understand and others quite complex, so if you are unsure of your eligibility to claim a deduction, it is best to seek some guidance from either the Australian Taxation Office, a tax agent, or the Australian Tax Clinics. Don't forget to watch the more detailed videos in our library on some of the deductions we spoke about. Thank you for watching our video.